Welcome, welcome to this week's or this edition of More Small Moment. God knows how many you've watched so far. Hopefully, it's a lot. Hopefully, you're you've you've been sticking with us. And in case you hadn't noticed, we are in a building. We are More Some More, and um, we've got another question. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get straight to the point. This one's from Ryan, and the question reads. I wanted to ask about wearing a three-piece suit to a wedding. Is it stylish or over the top to wear this kind of suit to a friend's wedding? Does it overshadow the groom? I'm going to leave it to you. Yeah. Um, my answer to that would be, it's fine to wear a three-piece suit to a wedding. Um, I, I'm trying to think of I've done it. Yes, I've done it. I did it recently. Um, funny enough, the groom did mention because my suit was slightly similar to his but not the same but I wore a free piece piece I wore a bow tie and I was like I wasn't I knew what the groom was wearing because we made his suit I wasn't trying to overshadow him or anything so yeah I'd wear, I'd wear a free piece suit to to a wedding anytime um I tend not to because I would I don't want to get hot in a wedding because I tend to party at a wedding so and then obviously drop the jacket and things like that but um yeah i think it's absolutely fine so for example you could wear a free piece and drop the tie there's no way you're going to be upstage in the groom if you're wearing a free piece without a tie you can wear a tie still now as long as your free piece isn't white and isn't you know everybody's wearing semi-casual and you're wearing a tuxedo or something like your most flashy tuxedo and the groom is wearing a tuxedo or something, then you might have to think about it. Um, but if the dress code is black tie, you're absolutely fine wearing a free piece. It's, it's not a big thing at all. Um, yeah, personally, I can't think of any reason why you wouldn't, but I just don't tend to all the time. I mean, what's your thoughts? Okay, <clears throat> I think it's hard. I think it's very hard to upstage the groom. So I think, really and truly, it's, it's something. It's good to think about these things. It's definitely good to fit, mm-hmm. uh, to have um, to have uh, some self awareness, sort of, and how you how what you're wearing affects others. So that's good. However, I do think in this instance, maybe it's a little bit overthought because I think it is very, it's ex- extremely sorry, extremely difficult to out to outshine the groom on his wedding day, simply because. He's a groom. I mean, and most guys are going to be wearing suits at the wedding. I think the the, tr- the tricky bit I find, or what I try to say to people, is just don't wear white. That's the only mm-hmm. thing I tend to say because most other things are going to be very difficult to outshine. I mean, okay, wait. Let me let me say that. Let me add a caveat. Don't wear white and don't wear like I don't know gold sequin suit or something like. Don't That's just go OTT saying. with it. I mean, as long as you're wearing a suit, a normal suit, then you should be fine. I think the groom is all it's all it's up to him to go all that in for his wedding. Now, let's say for example, it's a casual style wedding where I don't know, they're getting married in a, a barn conversion or something and, and everyone's dressed down a little bit. Either so the groom's dressed down, the, the bride's dressed down, and then you turn up like wearing a nice three piece and a and a bow tie and, and the works. Now you just be out of place. Yeah. Period. It's you're, not that you've out upstaged yeah, the groom. You're just gonna be out of place, period. So even then you still haven't outdone the groom. So my only thing is this women shouldn't wear white to a wedding. Men yeah. again shouldn't be wearing white to a wedding or I think yeah. with men, I think women can then get away with wearing sparkly stuff. That's fine. I think for men a man in a spark, something sparkling yeah. just out there. Too that's much detail and... Too much noise. Yeah, you, you just shouldn't do it. Like, the thing is, is, when it comes to the detail, it's a tough one because you still want to wear a nice jacket. You want to wear something that might be, um, you know, that is your going out jacket. But then it's all about how you put it together. Um, so, for example, again, like I mentioned, if it's a tuxedo and it's real flash, I'd probably leave it. For, for the wedding because you never know you might turn up in something very similar to the groom so unless you know what the groom's wearing and you know that you're not going to clash with him avoid it but that's not saying a free piece if it's just a standard free piece that you wear regularly absolutely fine but those are the only things I'd say don't wear to a wedding that's the end of the video that's pretty the much video. Hope, I hope that helped you Ryan I hope that helped all the other guys that were potentially thinking about that and having that little conundrum in their minds as to what to wear to their friend's wedding or family member's wedding, who knows, or even a stranger's wedding. I mean, it is what it is. There's wedding crashes these days. Now, take what you like, take the good bits, throw away the rest, as I always say. 
continue to send your questions in to us at ask at mortsandmore.com. Continue to like, subscribe, comment and share these videos because who else knows needs to see these videos? Who else knows needs to see information from Morts and More and the community that around Morts and More, but they don't understand that we exist and we're here and we're, we're already answering all these questions that like they're sitting at home thinking, oh my God, I don't know how to learn this stuff. Like there's no one to speak to. I've got no one to look up to. And they didn't realize the community's right there. Exactly. So exactly. Know. Just to give an example, we got an email um, the other day and a guy asked a question. He's like, ah, oh, I always hear people talk about made to measure. I understand that. But what's the difference between made to measure and bespoke? So I sent him a link of our video. But you know what should have happened? You guys weren't sharing the video. If one of you guys in his circle shared that video, he wouldn't have had to ask us. He would have seen it. That's a good point. So help us out, guys. That's a good share point. Share it. That is a good point. So there you have it. So like I said, like, subscribe, comment, share. Mm -hmm. Right? But then continue to interact with us on us. Like I said, like this guy did, interact with us on our social, several social media streams from Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. So, um, I shouldn't even say um so much, but so we will see you in the next video that you click right after this one because you can't just stop at one. Yeah. You have to watch more than one. So, see you in the next one. So, we're always here. It's just whether you're here or not. All right, cool. Until next time, guys. I saw one guy yawning mm. and I was like, come this guy's like, oh, yawning. But I was like, that's what he does every time he yawns. Interesting. So, Just... Why would you do that? That's his habits. Yeah, random. Alright, so. I'm about to yawn again. Huh. Oh.